Hi, and thanks for joining me. I thought I'd tell you about how a recent trip to the movie theater influenced the purchase of a toy. About a week ago, we saw the movie Brave, and since then, my children have developed a little bit of an interest in archery. So I went online to look at kids' archery sets, and I decided to get SpongeBug's archery set because it's designated for ages five and up. I now have a five and seven year old. And I like the fact that it wasn't just a bow and an arrow, but you actually get the target, the bullseye. And this particular set comes with, of course, the bow and arrow. You get five arrows. As you can see, they have suction cups. You get the target, and you get a carrying case. <laughs> well, the first thing I'll say about the carrying case um, is that this strap just keeps falling off. So, I mean, it, it's not really quality made but I've found that my kids don't even much like using it for storage, so we kind of just set it aside. Um, I also think that the height is decent for my five-year-old, but my seven-year-old has to crouch a little bit. I'm gonna stand up now, and you're gonna see just where this comes to, how high it goes. Watch. You see? <laughs> so it's quite short. I wish that they had made this adjustable. Um, it's a PVC frame, as you can see, it's very easy to put together. I think it would have been nice if it had at least two heights, um, maybe an additional bar, two, a, a set of bars to make it a little higher, or just something adjustable. You know how um, the kids' basketball hoops are adjustable. I, I wish this one was. Unfortunately, there's just one height, so it's good for the five-year-old, but you know, once you're around seven, eight, it's, it's a little too low. Now, the irony is that although the height is good for my five-year-old, um, she just doesn't have the dexterity and, and the strength all the time to do it as easily as my seven-year-old. So she can do this, um, but not successfully. And the problem is you really have to aim accurately for the suction cup to, w to stick to the target. My seven-year-old has mastered this, um, but as I said, he needs to crouch down so that he can actually aim um, at the bullseye, at the center of the target. Um, I think, though, this is very comfortable to hold. It's a plastic frame. Um, you can adjust the tension of the string, which I think is good. And it's nice that they do give you five arrows, so it means when you're taking turns, um, each person gets five shots, which I think is nice. And I've even tried using this myself. It's been comfortable for my seven-year-old to hold, and it's comfortable for me to hold as well. Um, so very ergonomic. I paid $30 for this archery set. Maybe if I'd taken a little more time and shopped around, I would have found a better deal, but I was anxious to make the purchase. Um, for $30, did I get my full money's worth? Maybe not, because I do have some complaints about the height and about the cheaply made case. But overall, it's a good first archery set. So for that reason, I'm going to say thumbs up. I like that everything's light, everything's made of plastic, PVC, there are no sharp, heavy parts. And the fact that the arrows themselves have suction cups is a really good thing. Let's talk about safety. Nobody can really get badly hurt <laughs> from a suction cup. The first time my kids were taking shots, um, the arrows were flying at the windows, the curtains, and everything, and um, I wasn't too worried. I mean, even when they draw it fully back, there's not too much that can happen with a plastic arrow and a suction cup. So for everything, um, all things considered, Thumbs up for the SpongeBob's archery set. It's sort of uh, like low for me, so I, you could just, I bend down. You need to shoot at the target? Mm hmm, so I could shoot at the target. And it's very hard to get it on the arrow when you shoot too. You need to get the bow on the arrow? Mm hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, it's sort of hard. What's hard? Uh, well, it's hard to get on the target because it's because it's sticky. So if you get it wrong, uh, it just doesn't stick on.